Hey everyone, so tomorrow I'm going to be going to the doctor, actually the gynecologist, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to get some blood drawn and they're going to find out if my hormone level went down to zero, which I have, um, high expectations that it will be down at zero, um, I don't think um, at all that I kept the pregnancy, and I don't think that um, I'm actually lucky enough uh, to where it went up. So that being said, um, yes, I'm going to be going to the gynecologist tomorrow. Now, what we're probably going to talk about is, and I'm just throwing this out there because I know what she wants me to do um, or I sort of know what she wants me to do because she turned around and told me that once everything comes into play that's when she'll let me know what she wants. I've been pretty sloppy with taking my thyroid medication because I'm just I'm trying to not um I'm I'm not trying to conceive. Um so it's kind of the thyroid medication, I mean it's for my health, but um you know this this miscarriage has made me like down. Um taking all the medication that I've been taking is just making me feel down. Um, I stopped taking prenatal vitamins because I'm just, like I said, it's, it's a reminder that I just can't hold on to a pregnancy. So I looked up, um, things to kind of like strengthen the uterine wall because, um, it's either going to be, I believe my uterine wall even though I had a child before, I feel like maybe it's my uterine wall. Or it could be my eggs, for all I know. Um, and don't take this, um, take this pretty much, this information with a grain of salt. But from what I've been told, so um, to make the cells split, it's a lot of energy, just a whole lot of energy. Um, the sperm goes into the egg or the, yeah, the sperm, this, yeah, I was, I was thinking semen. The sperm goes into the egg and the entire thing splits. Okay. So that takes a lot of energy. Um, it took a whole lot of energy for the sperm to actually, um, find its way to the egg. So, if the egg isn't strong enough to help the process in splitting, um, it could drop. Um, which is discouraging because now you feel like it's your fault. But let me explain that it isn't your fault. It just happens. Um, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Um, from statistics, it's one in every four pregnancies. Um, you miscarry. It's unfortunate and it sucks, but it happens. And sometimes you don't even know that you're miscarrying because um, it's a chemical pregnancy. And when the chemical pregnancy happens, um, that is still, to me, a miscarriage because um, you were once pregnant and now you're not. So we're going to look up this it's called natural infer it's natural fertility okay and um i don't know 
read this one, but to be honest, all I know that I have fibroids. Okay, so that could also be a problem. Um, I kind of did have a surgery because I did have C-section. So, yep, c, c cesarean section. Um, scar tissue, et cetera, et cetera. But I still need to find out if I can, um, strengthen my uterine wall. Um, fortunately, and I'm going to put this in the comments. Fortunately, there are diets, there are, um, ways to strengthen your body. It's just like any other muscle in your body. You know, you have to strengthen it. And the food that we put in our body, obviously, it it's a part of what you are, you know, because you are what you eat. So... The questions that I have will not be answered with my normal gynecologist. I am definitely going to have to go to a specialist. And, for, and my heart feels like it's the, it's the uterine wall. It might not be strong enough. But I'm hoping that I will find out before my birthday which is in November and hope that it is something that's very very fixable because it's not like I can't get pregnant this is my fourth miscarriage in I think about two and a half years so um it's not that I can't get pregnant it's hard for me to get pregnant, but it's not, it's not impossible. Um, and I just need, need, need to, um, keep my morality up because if I don't, then I'm just going to hide in myself and I don't want that. I would like to again start doing um the um what was that castor oil packs again because they're supposed to help with um fibroids cysts um that's what it's supposed to do it's supposed to help with those things and scar tissue um Honestly, I don't know the mechanics and the um, um, the exact science to uh, castor oil packs. Um, I've seen a whole lot of positive um, reviews on it, so I kind of feel like, I mean, what the hell kind of thing because... It's just, it's something that goes on the outside of my body. It's, um, I just use the heating pad and it's, it's, you know, it's kind of relaxing. It kind of feels good. So I'm not going to lie. You know, I have like an hour to just lie there and be like, yep, this is cool. Um, so yeah, I want to try the castor oil packs and hopefully I will not forget to do them next week. Next week, Monday. I want to start on Monday. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, Monday that I get to, because I've forgotten so many times on doing it. It's just, I don't know. I started back up on um, CoQ10. The reason why I stopped was because I was pregnant. And when I had asked my um, gynecologist, she pretty much told me to not take it. So I didn't take it. 
other than that, every time that I could remember, any time that I can remember, I'll take my thyroid pill, which is I'm still on 75. Um, I'm going to ask them if they can also take thyroid um, blood just to see if I'm okay. Other than that, I'm also going to tell them that I really haven't taken it religiously like I should, but uh, whatever. What, what are you going to do? Um, I've just, like I said, I've been down in the dumps and I should really, really be taking it, but I just, I haven't. Tomorrow, um, because I feel, I think my doctor, my regular doctor, not my gynecologist, not my specialist, my regular doctor, which he is, um, I've never met him. I honestly have never met him because, um, if, I don't know if I said this, but my original doctor from that, um, practice, he passed away in December and, um, I don't know, um, I have to meet this guy. I have to see um, if I could get certain things like um, I have a skin thing on my leg. I would love for it to be removed. So I'm going to call them tomorrow and see if he can um, check it out, see what he thinks it is. Um, if he can, if he's going to give me the same exact medication that my doc, my previous doctor had given me, then I'm just going to ask for a referral to see a skin doctor because honestly, it's just, it's annoying. I try to shave my leg and it, it pretty much cuts it. Even, even if I don't like nick it. Or, you know what I mean? Like, you know, when you nick yourself, you're just like, ah, I got it. And you're just bleeding. No. It will just go right over it and then cut it. So it's, um, it's a little bit of annoying. But uh, tomorrow, so yeah, I have to go and I have to, like, call up my doctor, see if I can make an appointment and talk to them about that. I also have to make an appointment about, uh, for my daughter's teeth because she, uh, has a couple of, um, cavities going on, but yeah, so that is my, that is my day tomorrow. I'm going to be doing all of that. And hopefully everything will get done. But, so yeah. Um, I will tell you about everything next week. From perhaps my little skin problem to maybe um, what I did tomorrow for the gynecologist. Whatever they want to do, they'll, they'll let me know. Um, and maybe the, the dentist thing. Um, I actually went to the dentist, got my teeth checked out, cleaned, and then while I was at the dentist, oh, this is terrible. I was, I was actually pregnant, so they couldn't do any, like, um, pictures. They couldn't do the picture, so, um, he had to check it out manually, that which sucked. But, I don't know, hopefully next time I'll just get my teeth checked out properly. Um, or I'll just call them up tomorrow and see if they can take those pictures. But, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.